Today we are going to do a easy, quick, lake day makeup-ish routine. We go to the lake constantly in the spring and summer. Like we pretty well stay on the lake. So some days I'll do a full face and people look at me like I'm crazy because I have on a ton of makeup. And other days I want to just look put together to where I'm not so made up but I'm still protecting my son, my son from the skin. Yep. Where I'm still protecting my skin from the sun and I want, you know, some eyebrows because I have none. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, my nose is itching really bad. I wasn't picking it, it was an itch. So, first we are going to start off with concealing this redness just a little bit. Mm, half the time I do this, you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but today I want to just cover up this bottom redness a little bit. If you want to uh, spot conceal, whatever you want to do, I'm going to put the skin tint and the SPF over top of this because I want the glow from that. So we're going to put a little bit of shape tape on just this bottom area. And I'm gonna use my super dirty L'Oreal sponge and just press that right in there. And we're going to do face and body. Cause you know, we got a big glowy when we're out in the sun, that's a done deal. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint. I'm assuming that's how you say it. I do not really know. But we're going to put this everywhere. And I love this. It has SPF in it. It's going to protect our skin. And we're just dotting this all around. And then we're just gonna rub this in with our hands. This leaves a really pretty glow to the skin. I wouldn't really say that it has any color at all. It doesn't have any coverage, but it looks really beautiful on the skin. Yeah, that, that was a lot. That's okay. I've worn this a bunch of times and I really love the way that it looks. And I wouldn't say this is super heavy on the skin, but pretty well anything with SPF in it, with sunblock in it, is gonna be kind of heavy on the skin. This is a physical sunscreen. Wait, is physical? mineral uh, I know it's not a chemical sunscreen well, let me look it up just to be sure yep yeah, physical it says a tinted physical sunscreen that delivers powerful broad spectrum wow I cannot talk today broad spectrum UVA UVB protection and helps aid in the prevention of free radical and oxidative damage as well as photo aging for a more youthful looking complexion delivering a hint of tint for a gorgeous glowing finish. And you can see it doesn't really have a tint for me. It could be where my skin is darker. I am tan. So if you are lighter, if you're fair, it might give off a bit of a tint. But for me, I like it so well just because of the glow. It gives off a really, really nice glow. Okay. Under the eyes, I'm going to use just a wee, wee, wee bit of concealer. This is the Fit Me Concealer in 20. I have really prominent veins right there. So we're gonna cover that a little bit, just right on the inner corners. And then just to brighten up the under eyes, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Op Under Eye Brightener. And we'll shake that up. 
and then it looks like that and we are going to put that all over the under eye area nose cupid's bow kind of the same areas that you normally put concealer I'm going to use my sponge and just blend all that out. I'm not a huge fan of the Fit Me Concealer. It does not have nearly the amount of coverage that I like. But for something really natural like this, I think it works pretty good. And that just brightens everything up a bit. Okay. And then... If you want to set this, you totally can. I have normal skin. Things don't tend to move around on me a lot. So if you want to go ahead and set it, do that. Or if you are oily and you want to set your whole face. Let me zoom me out a tad. Sorry, you can see this other one here. But as you, well, I don't know if you can really see it, but I have like a bump here on my boob. I'm gonna use shape tape and put a little bit over my boob let me scoot back so you can see so i'm just dotting it right on the bump and i'm gonna blend it out pretty sure it's a bug bite it itches like friggin crazy and good okay let me zoom you back in a little bit. All right. And now we are going to go ahead and move to the brows. This is from Sally's. It's the Collab Shape and Shade Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Oh, did not know I got Ash Brown, but okay. But I really, really like this pencil for natural days. It doesn't have a whole lot of pigment to it, and that's why I like it so much. It's not something where you're going to get super bold brows. So, I always start with this brow and kind of go down here. And we're just lightly going to fill in the brows. My main thing is I have no tail. I literally fill all of that in there. So I'm just going to take it up a bit there. My main thing with the brows is I just want to look like I have brows. Like I don't want them to look super defined or super filled in. I just want to look like I have a little bit of brow. And brows are on. They're not perfect. I don't want them to be. There we go. Okay, eyes, super simple. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. And I'm just going to put this on the lid. Just lightly. And I put a little bit on the inner corner there. And then just tap that out with my finger. It just gave us just a little bit of a wash of color. Nothing too much you can see it right there it's not it's not super opaque but i do like these okay and then you know we're gonna do highlight so for the face i'm going to use the cover fx custom enhancer drops this is the shade moonlight and i'm also going to mix it with the Koki Liquid Highlights in Shine On. I'm gonna put those on the back of my hand. We're gonna use my little bitty, super dirty um, sponge from Eco Tools. And we're gonna dab her in, bounce it on my hand a little bit, 
and then put it on the cheekbones and kind of wrap it around right at the brow just want it to kind of reflect the light I don't want it to be too in your face you want everything to look natural I don't say that often but that's what we're going for today gonna run it up the nose and in between the eyebrows and then dab that out a bit and then I'm gonna flip this little sponge around and I'm going to do the cupid's bow and then for the body while we're already doing this I'm gonna use that Koki highlights again and I'm going to mix it with the Alginist Reveal Luminizing Drops. And this is, is there a shade? Oh, this is in the shade Pearl. And I'm going to put that on the back of my hand as well. They're a little bit too light for my face. So, when I really want my body to be glowy, I mix them in normally all right so let me zoom me out a tad shoulders and we're going to do collarbones then let me grab my little sponge here and blend it out oh yeah it just makes you look like you have collarbones, even when you don't. Well, I mean, I know you do, but when they're not as pronounced. And then I'm just going to rub this all over the shoulders. And then I have a little bit left on my hand. I'm going to rub that between my fingers and just put it on the chest. Kind of upward here by my boobies. And then a little bit on the boobies. Gosh, that smells really good. Is it this? It is. Wow, these alginous drops smell really good. I have never noticed that. Kind of lock everything in. I'm going to use Fix Plus. I swear Fix Plus never gets old. The smell is just amazing the scent of that is beautiful okay now we're going to finish up the brows i'm going to use the maybelline brow precise fiber volumizer and this is in deep brown i'm just going to lightly run that through the brows good good and then I looked everywhere I looked everywhere for my eyelash curler I cannot find it that is a necessary step in this when I'm not wearing falsies I always make sure to curl my lashes so do as I say not as I do and I'm gonna use lash paradise we're gonna put a good bit of mascara on I don't normally get my face or hair wet um, in the lake in the water so if you do all this will predominantly stay on your face eyebrows won't if you rub them but I have been in the water with them and they don't move uh, mascara will run so if you plan on getting your head wet your hair wet use a waterproof mascara for sure so we're just gonna put a nice thick coat Uh, mascara you know just got mascara all over my face it happens all right now for lips I always want to use something with SPF in it if I want a clear gloss I use the Kaplan MD lip 20 balm it goes with the lip mask <laughs> sorry my dog's out there trying to get a bug of some sort but um, it's a plumping mask like 
if you read up on it, you're really not supposed to <clears throat> use lip scrubs because it tears the skin off of your lips. So this lip mask really does take everything off. Like it's beautiful, it plumps a little bit. And then this balm is gorgeous. I love it. So if I want something clear and glossy, I'll always grab these, which I use this all the time. So, you know. And then if I want something with a little bit of tint to it, this is the Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm SPF 20. And they have several shades in this, but I love this lip balm. It's beautiful, it's not sticky, it gives a bit of a shine, but it lasts really, really well. There's what the body looks like. I just love it. And the face. Just glowy and fresh, and I just, I really, really like this. It took me literally 10 minutes to get this done and if you don't want to add you know the little bit of concealer or the under eye brightener you can skip all that have this on in five minutes be out the door and on the lake but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you all subscribe please subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye guys